Good morning. We once again are working on our assignment 8.2. This time we're going to work on solving problem number eight. So we're on assignment 8.2, problem eight. Uh, this is the one where a person is bending over holding a weight and we are to find out the tension that's in the back muscles and we're to find the compression of the spine. And so when we look, here's the drawing with my numbers off a, off a web assign. Of course, you'll have your own numbers. Um, so right here is the pivot point. And then the weight of the body is in the middle of this. Um, I've drawn a, just a bar to represent the pivot point to the end of the, of the person. And so the weight of the body will be right in the middle. The weight of the object is on the end. And then we have this um, tension force right here that's in the muscles. What we're gonna do is we're gonna find the perpendicular component here. So then we have um, the weight of the body and the weight of the object are causing clockwise torque. So that would be negative torque. And then the uh, tension in the back, is the perpendicular component will cause counterclockwise torque, which would be positive torque. And then um, it says that XT, this position right here, is two thirds of this length. Now it doesn't give us a measurement of how long this length is. But it doesn't matter because it'll end up being a proportion thing. So we could call this one meter, two thirds of a meter, and a half a meter. We could call this um, any length we wanted to. We could call it 10 meters. And then this would be 6.67 meters, and this would be five meters. But it doesn't matter. The ratio will cancel out, all the meters will cancel out. So we can ignore that. And then I've drawn a second triangle over here, which is the triangle we'll use, which is this triangle right here. And so we'll have the compressional force right here. We'll have the perpendicular force here and we'll have the tension. So right, right now we're gonna find the perpendicular force. Um, I switched from perpendicular to FY, so this will look a little messy here. I just overwrote perpendicular, so. So torque net is going to equal zero, which is going to equal the torque caused by the weight of the body, uh, the torque caused by the perpendicular force from the muscles, and the torque caused by the object. And um, if we look here, we have We have 390 times 0.5, and this should be a negative 390, but it doesn't matter, the math will work out. And uh, this is perpendicular force times 0.67, and this number I cut off, but it's 220 newtons times one. So right here we have it again. This is where I was on the previous slide. So zero equals three, negative 390 times 0.5 plus T perpendicular times 0.67 minus, because this is clockwise torque again, 220 uh, newtons times one. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna subtract 390, excuse me, we're gonna add, because this is a negative number, we're gonna add 390 times 0.5, and this is a negative number, so we're adding 220 times one. And then we end up getting a, to this side, so we end up with, that's 240, and then this is 0.67 perpendicular T right here. And so then we take 240 divided by 0.67, and we get 359. So that's the perpendicular force. Um, then when we look at the triangle, we have the perpendicular force here, and we want to find tension. And so if we take um, sine of 12 degrees will equal opposite perpendicular force divided by hypotenuse tension, we end up with tension equals perpendicular force divided by sine 12 degrees. And that's what we have right here. 
So we have the perpendicular force <clears throat> divided by sine 12, and we end up with 1,730 newtons. Um, the book has the answer in one in kilonewtons. So to change this from newtons to kilonewtons, we just go 1.73 kilonewtons uh, divided by 1,000. And then to find the compressional force, we're looking for this number here. I chose to use tangent. So tangent of 12 degrees will equal perpendicular force divided by compressional force. Therefore, the compressional force is going to be equal to the perpendicular force divided by tangent 12. And so that's what we have here. The perpendicular force is 359 newtons divided by tangent 12. And that gives us 1,690 newtons. Again, the book had the answer in kilonewtons. I'm not sure if you needed it in kilonewtons, but um, that becomes 1.69 kilonewtons. Thank you. I hope this was helpful.